Hello everyone, my name is Cameron. Welcome back to the WWE 2K19, my player, uh, my career mode, whatever you want to call it, with the anarchist Alexia Wheeler. We're hopping back in, we're about to go, I'm pretty sure, on a journey through the multiverse with Matt Hardy, with Matthew Hardy. Uh, I mean, I'm excited for this. This has probably been one of the things I've been looking forward to the most with the universe mode, and I've been waiting a very long time for this. So, so hopefully we'll see something nice. Also, for those of you who are wondering, it's... <laughs> it's about nine days. Yeah. Okay, we saw that last time. It's about nine days away from the release of... Um... It's nine days away from the release of Mortal Kombat 11, which I will be doing a live stream of the story mode for that. Hopefully beating it in a single day uh, is the plan. Three days after that, god damn it, why does it have to be a Kanye song? It sounds like Kanye, I, I might be wrong. Um, three days after that. ready to go in the backstage area. Bray is making the hair on my back stand up. That's disgusting. The atmosphere out here is chilly, it's creepy, it's unsettling, and that's exactly the way Bray Wyatt wants it. God damn it, Bray. Shoulder tackle! He's starting to show signs um, of fatigue. I three days after that. To bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives. I plan to do the first episode of the Days Gone series. I plan to record it, at least. It's not going to be released until, I think, the Monday after. Or the Wednesday after. I haven't fully decided that series just yet. Uh, actually, what day is the 26th? The 26th is a Friday. So, the 1st of May, it looks like, potentially. Um, I might be getting Tuesdays. I might I might start working Tuesdays at my, my job. So, uh, Tuesdays wouldn't be a day when I can do it. Monday, Wednesday might potentially be possible. I might do it Monday or Wednesday. Monday does already have two two things, so it's probably not going to be Monday. It will most likely be Wednesday. Um, could potentially do it Fridays, too. That actually isn't the worst idea. Um, but it coming out on a Friday means I probably won't have time to record it until maybe Saturday morning. So, we'll see. I'll probably, I'm, if I have to, I'll record the Monday or Friday right after I get home from work. And then... We'll have it be a Friday or a Friday series, which isn't the worst idea because Friday currently only has Championship Scramble, which, while it being good content, is also not always the best. is is not always the longest thing, so it means there's not a lot to watch during Fridays for you guys. So, so yeah, maybe I'll do Friday series for that. What would you guys like to see? Would you guys like to see Days Gone on Fridays, or would you guys like to see Days Gone on Wednesdays or something like that? Um, obviously. School's ending soon for for most people. So if I have any fans that are still in high school, middle school, stuff like that, I hope I don't have any fans in middle school. Jesus, oh man, I hope I hope there's no one under 16 that watches my channel. To be honest, um, I know that means oh I'm definitely screwing my my own audience, but I swear so much I could not imagine anybody under a certain age channel. <laughs> Can I get him onto this table, please? Nope, apparently not. Oh, you asshole. Haha, -ha, I reversed you. Oh, my oh God. he hit it. Might have to do the... Might actually have to move him like this. I am, damn it. That might, that might be the only way to get him onto this table, to be honest. Nope, I can't even do it then. Now nah, let's just... Mm, fuck it, let's just get to the van. Actually, I do want to hit my finisher before I do anything else. What does Buzz have in store? We're about to find out. He's going to do it. Moonsault. No doubt about that one. Talk about an awe right. Let's throw, let's throw Bray that way. Damn it, Bray. Bray Wyatt reverses it. Escapes trouble there. I He's got another signature. Oh my god, Bray! Oh, 
both just barely got you away. asshole all right fuck you here. guys he's gonna have to turn things around quickly if he wants to win this thing it's incredibly dangerous back there guys especially with all those weapons and the cement walls and unfortunately for him he's learning the hard way right now he's looked great up does it actually give an effect to him does it actually put that onto him uh no it doesn't look like that sucks Why don't you fucking hit him with it? Oh, nasty impact. Oh, shithead. And the action continues to spill backstage. Action is on the move now. You never know where the action is going to take us. Oh no, is my van gonna get burned down? Guys, you don't think. Oh, no, you please. don't think. I can't watch. I like this. Oh my god. Uh oh. Is he really gonna do this? This is bad. Oh no. No, this is sick. Sister Abigail. Come on now. Please don't do this. Oh my god! What kind of twisted individual would destroy something that meant so much to Buzz? Bray Wyatt would. The man operates under a different set of rules. Uh, I can't believe this. Next week. There you see Buzz arriving for his match tonight at TLC versus Bray Wyatt. Yeah, I noticed he wasn't driving his van because Bray Wyatt torched it. And that wasn't just any van. It was a gift from his late father. You have to imagine he'll be seeking revenge on Bray Wyatt tonight. Ooh, that's nice. That's a nice picture of a T-Rex from Jurassic World. All right, let's talk to Kurt. I know you were cleared by the doctor, but I need to personally make sure you're both physically and mentally fit to compete tonight after what Bray Wyatt did to you last week. There's nothing that could stop me from getting revenge on Bray for what he did. Nothing. I get into voices hey. sometimes. I've had my fair share of, bo of battles with Bray Wyatt in the past, so I know you're not how you're feeling right now. Did you ever set fire to something valuable of yours? No. I'm sorry about that. If I could give you some advice, it would be to dig down and find a violent place deep within yourself, which I imagine won't be hard considering what he did. It won't. Good luck. And remember, when it comes to Bray Wyatt, be prepared for anything. I will be. If you guys don't know, I like to do accents in my spare time. One of them, specifically the one I'm most proud of, being my Irish accent I do. So. Hey, you probably don't want to talk about it right now, but I'm sorry about what Bray did to your van. I know it meant a lot to Shut you. up, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks. I appreciate you saying that. Wait, 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 wait. Were you going to hug me because that's your thing? Or because you're worried about what might happen tonight? Um, more the second one. <laughs> I'll be fine. The only person anyone should be worried about is Bray Wyatt. I'm fucking up. All right, let's go to my match.
Did Bray just poison me? Mm-hmm. Stealing my championship doesn't make you the champion, asshole. Where is Bray taking him? Somebody needs to stop this. Seriously though, stealing my championship is not gonna make you champion. I have a, I don't have a van anymore. Thanks for reminding me, game! They should really change that. Buzz used to use the song Elias wrote for him. Oh look, it's the very not fun house or uh, Wyatt compound match that they made for this game that you can't really do much with. Seriously, this disappointed me. Hey look, it's Zombie Triple H and the Masked Attacker. Eh, let's go Sledgehammer. Why not, right? Even though Baseball Bat is my typical weapon, I wanted to follow the Zombie Triple H a little bit more. It sounded like more fun. But yes, the Wyatt Family Compound match got very screwed in this game. It should have been a lot better, and they fucked it up. Massively. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, they did this... How It's like the House of Horrors match that Bray and Randy had. It's kind of obvious it was Triple H. Um, it's like the House of Horror match that Bray and Randy had, but instead of actually being good, it was literally just a fight in the in this parking lot. Ow! Ow! Why do you throw it on the ground? I love how it has noises like it's being put on metal. Okay, this isn't fair. Okay, he's like a zombie. He doesn't even feel pain, bro. Oh, fuck off, you fucking bastard. Oh, for fuck's sake. Which, I can also say, I have a friend who's Irish. God, the noise is here creepy. I have a friend who's Irish who has actually said that my Irish accent is very realistic sounding, which makes me very proud of it. And the ass. Right in the nuts. Let's grab a baseball bat. Alright, you fucking bastard. You wanna fuck with my career? Oh, for fuck's sake! Give me my baseball bat back, you dick. Get in here. Yeah, I guess he's got the golden shovel now, dick face. That's right, me. Come on. Pick him up. Where should we change my paybacks? I don't know why they don't allow me to. Because I would love to have, like, a low... I want to turn my guy healed, but I can't because they don't let me choose my paybacks. Which I'm sure once the story mode shit's done, like the actual story stuff, they'll probably let me choose my paybacks. Which sucks, because then it makes... Once the story's done, it doesn't really make me want to... I don't really want to play it anymore. It happened with uh, 2K18s. Where after all the story mode stuff was done, I kind of didn't want to play it anymore. How the fuck's it got such like a metallic scent? He's not a fucking robot, you dumb game. Let me go do the Young Bucks pose right over Triple H's zombie body. This match is weird, man. But yeah, they made in the trailer they hyped this match up so much and they made it seem so cool. And then it's just fighting in a parking lot with a bunch of rusty cars. It's basically just a backstage brawl, you fucking dicks. It's like it's nothing interesting. Or not as interesting as they made it seem like it was gonna be. Oh fuck you, to running knee. Oh for fuck's sake! Yep, he's getting that golden fucking shovel out again. Oh, bullshit! Oh, you jackets. Yeah, fuck you. Fine, I'm just gonna hit my fucking finisher. 
There we go. I guess I got him. No, there's the masked dickhead. Which is Sami Zayn in the uh, when you go through like the the normal game, like the exhibition matches. You can that's Sami Zayn right there. At least I'm pretty sure that's the mass attack that Sami Zayn has. Oh no, wait, no, it's the demon form of uh, Baron Blades. That's right. That's the monster form of Baron Blades. You have that. That's also available, which is really cool. Don't know why he looks like a fucking fish person, but. It's Game of Thrones Day, you guys. Season 8 starts tonight. Let's go, Bray. You ugly fucking bastard. Oh, you bastard. I was about to get him in the fucking tractor and hit him with a strike, but this game's retarded. It's weird seeing my guy not in his attire, though. Like, I, I get I see it a lot, but I don't quickly see it unless it's like, you know what I mean? Like, unless it's in a cutscene. You bitch. Why the fuck does it give me like a 10 second fucking pause when he picks me up before something again? Come on, pick him up, idiot. Damn. There we go. I'm sure I'm 1666 is still happening. Assassin's Creed creator spells the banes. Huh. Looks kind of cool. I'll have to check that out later. Is that a fucking metal pipe? Jesus Christ, Buzz! What the fuck are you trying to do? Kill the bastard! This isn't a fucking metal pipe. Jesus Christ. Or maybe it's not. Maybe it's like, um, siding? I don't fucking know what it is. Why the fuck? It was, oh, it was a 2 by 4 Why the fuck did you drop it immediately? Am I gonna burn the house down? Should be the perfect time for eight. Oh, well, that works. Yeah, except you can't go inside the house, which kind of sucks. Did his sister Abigail me? Oh my god, he did. His sister Abigail me right into the fucking side of the house. Get Bray White to red health. That's not too hard. Yeah, but there's like an invisible wall right here, which is really stupid. Give me that kendo stick. Where's that? There it is. Come here, Bray. Batter. Oh, I missed. Bitch. Ouch. That hurt. That hurt, Bray. It really fucking hurt. Oh my god. Can I just get up from this shit? It's a very quiet match. I don't like this. Very awkward. There we go. Oh, uh, didn't even hit him down. Yes, quickly. Buzz, you dumbass! Pick the fucking kendo stick up! Pick up the kendo stick, you fucking idiot! Jesus. Took me six fucking years to pick the damn thing up. Oh, no, 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 no. You're not done. Right in the ass. Yes, I'm gonna burn the house down. I knew it. Make sure you hit the chair. Make sure the chair gets a lot of it. Where the fuck are they getting all these goddamn lighters from? <laughs> Why do they just like randomly have a lighter on them at all times? That's not gonna do a whole lot of work. It's only gonna really burn like the front of it. That was weird. Followed the buzzards. Hey, I got a trophy. What? Wow, that was it for chapter 10. Okay then.
The White family made their debut on Raw in July of 2013, officially attacking Kane. This should set the tone for Bray Wyatt's career in the WWE. Buzz has been a fan of Matt and Jeff since their debut in WWE debut in 1998. However, Buzz is not quite sure what to make of Matt since he's become Woken! Yeah! Sorry. Okay. Got about nine more minutes, which means I'm going to finish this just a little bit after my 1 p.m. alarm goes off. Alright, uh, what do Hurt. That's a big ass fucking beefy trainer, Jesus Christ. What the How are you fuck you so today? big for, dude? Not great. I'm sore, I have a nasty headache. I only remember bits and pieces of what happened. Probably a side effect of whatever Bray Wyatt used to knock you unconscious. Could also explain some of the things I saw out there. A full recovery is what's most important right now. But unfortunately, we don't know yet how long that might take. So I have some bad news. Triple H is making me strip you of the Intercontinental Championship due to the injuries you've suffered. I'll make it back in time to defend the title. I know I can. I believe you can too, but Triple H doesn't want to wait around and see. He said his decision was fine. I'm sorry. I'll try my best to give you a chance to regain the Intercontinental title when you return. Now try to get some rest, okay? That's dumb. Okay, let's look at my stuff. Uh, this is probably the last thing we do in this. Um, I don't want to go any further. So, if you guys haven't heard about this, Sasha Banks. So, I'm going to talk about this really quick. Um, we're going to go through the, the messages. <laughs> Speaking of Sasha, heard you're not feeling great after what happened with Bray. Let me know what I can do. Um, so apparently Sasha Banks is a little bit pissed because they lost the titles because they found out they were losing it um, the day of One sec guys uh, They found out they were losing it the day of mania um and Sasha has now apparently she asked to quit before the show uh, she's been given like two weeks off um, she's unfollowed WWE and Vince McMahon and started following, uh, AEW on Twitter. Um, I feel like she's just being really pissy. Obviously, majority of the fans weren't really enjoying their title reign. I'm so worried about you. Please let me know you're okay ASAP. I knew something like this would happen. Uh, what happened? Are you okay? You know I'd be there in a heartbeat to come see you, but I have a match tonight. Try calling you again later. What Bray did to you was just sick. Hope you're okay. No, you don't want my help, but I'm here if you- Shut up, Baron. Uh, thought this picture would make you feel better. Fuck off, Jason, you cunt. We have a huge show for you today recapping everything that happened oh, at deck. WWE's TLC event. But the first thing we have to discuss is that uh, encounter, for lack of a better term, between Buzz and Bray Wyatt. I certainly wouldn't call it a match, that's for sure. I've watched it a few times now, Hood, and I'm still not sure what really happened. It, it, it was bizarre to say the least. I mean, if, if I had a nickel for every time my opponent knocked me out with gas in the locker room before the match, then brought me to his creepy compound where I had to fight off all sorts of crazy things only for it to end with the fire, then I'd be flat broke because <laughs> that just doesn't happen. <laughs> I mean, we're at a point where I'm questioning if the authorities should be called. Buzz was kidnapped, essentially. You, you, you might have a point there, Pete. What, what happened has no place in wrestling. Well, we're talking about a guy who has everything going for him, and now after what Bray Wyatt did, he might never be the same. It's disgusting. Yeah, from what I hear, he, he, he's, he's in a bad way, and it may, it may be out for a while. Uh-huh. Well, what do you think is going to happen with the title? This is bigger than titles, man. We're talking about a man's career and well-being. You said it yourself. Buzz might never be the same after this. Bruises and bones will heal, but your mental psyche will not. It's times like this, I'm glad I'm retired, because I would want nothing to do with Bray Wyatt. Well, hard to jump into the rest of the TLC card after that, so uh, let's take a break, and then we'll try to get into it. Yeah, that dude's nuts, man. Come on, like that. I think that was it, right? Yeah, okay. Um, we don't have any points to put onto my fucking... Th th this is what I hate, like, the, the my player tree and stuff. You don't get a lot of points for this. Like, look at this. I should have more points to put into this, and I've got none. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with this. It's very, very confusing, in my opinion. Um, see, look. Overall, I have no style points. I have nothing to put into it. I don't understand why. 
Um, that is going to do it for this, though, you guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you all in the next episode. Stay golden. Peace.